Hi everyone, I just wanted to take a moment to talk to you about creativity. I know as a teacher, sometimes when you are talking to your students and ask them to produce something, sometimes they say, I can't think of that, or I don't know what to do, I'm stuck, I, I'm not sure what to draw or write. And when I took one of these books from the main office, I came across a chapter on creativity. And they used the word escape. And it made me think in terms of creativity and escape, isn't this something that we want all our students to do, especially if you're reading aloud to them or if they are reading themselves and want to picture the scene in their mind, you can remind them of the word escape. Maybe exaggerate, maybe create that scene in their mind. Is it a silly event or is it a serious event? Colorful, have them add those colors in their mind. What action is taking place? Who are the people? And what emotion is involved in the scene as well? Just practicing those techniques with your students when they are reading or when you are reading to them and modeling for them what you are picturing in your mind too. We are escaping, escaping to a different reality in our own mind. This can come to be beneficial in our writing when we are writing something and we want to um, expand on it even more, having students really think about the scene or what they are writing about. This can obviously, when I mentioned about the reading, whether they are reading or you are reading aloud, and in our art. So, so many ways that we can use this term escape. Exaggerate, silly or serious, colorful, action, people, emotion. Something really great to think about uh, that I took away from this book when it's talking about making our imagination even better than what it is. Thanks for listening.